Welcome back to the Bookends YouTube channel. So today we're picking up where you left off on the blog um, and sort of talking yes. over things. So you wrote a blog on Halloween, I think it was. Focus on what you, you can control. Date, I do. It's right here. That's why. <laughs> uh, it was focus on what you can control. So yeah. if you want to take it from there, just sort of. I'll run with it. Yeah. I think the well, I know the hardest part of querying, among other parts of this business, is how much of it is out of it is out of your control. You have spent months writing your manuscript solely focused on your time, your energies, your manuscript. It was all within your control. I mean, I suppose other than you got sick and you couldn't write or somebody planned a vacation or whatever it was. But other than that, you, your time was your control. Now you're querying. And I think we will all admit it's a slow, somewhat painful and agonizing <laughs> agonizing and it feels out of your control well because it is because it is but i think that partially partially that's yes it's a misconception that is wholly out of your control sure once the query is in somebody's hands the timing the response that is not something you control but there is a lot about it you can control um the first one is the query itself and I, I think it would be surprising to a lot of writers, probably especially a lot of our viewers, because you're doing your research, how um, little effort a lot of the queries we get. Yeah. Oh, there's just, there's a lot of them that are simply, I've written a science fiction fantasy about a queen on a different planet. Are you, you interested in reading it? From two, like a one-liner query yeah. to slap together to full-on synopses. So. so knowing how much control you have over your query and your blurb, how well written it is, revised. It's like when you sit down with the SAT and write your name, you write to get points. If you have the right <laughs> format know? for a query, I think, right? I don't know. <laughs> 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 that's a bad example somebody will correct me in the comments <laughs> but, but when you sit when you send your query if it's in the right format you've already got points you've right. got me reading I'm right. paying attention there's right. no X's against your name so right. far so you can control the strength of your query yes you can't control the response but you can control what you put into it yes um, the number of queries and the frequency you send the queries this is a good one yeah I think this might be one of the biggest things is you can't control the responses and the frequency of responses and how fast they come, but you can control getting more out there, which means don't just send 10 and wait to hear back from 10 people and then send 10 And more. alternatively, don't just send 100 at one time right? because then you are agonizing. Yes. So that rolling ball effect of sending 10, get a rejection, send another one out, yeah. just sort of layering them on, it keeps things fresh for you and exciting yes. and it also keeps the ball rolling. Yep. Like it's not so stagnant where now a hundred people have to read and I just have to sit here and twiddle my thumbs and wait. Right. So giving yourself that like sort of lead up time and not lead up time. Well, I think giving yourself, making it a constant process. Yeah. And keeping the, the joy in it because it is fun. It can be fun and yeah. it should be fun. I mean, it should, I mean, I think getting those first queries out should have that excitement of possibility. And if you keep sending them out, you keep that excitement of possibility yes. going. Which and, yeah, enthusiasm great. and excitement is the most important part of this. Thing. And it all goes to your mindset. Yeah. 100%. So if you're keeping your mindset fresh and excited and fun and enthused, it's not going to be as agonizing as it, it right. can be. Because right. it can be agonizing. And then the second thing, or the next thing I should say, is forget about that book. You are querying that book. You are done writing that book. Forget about that book. Move on to your next book. Get yourself wrapped up into something new to be excited about. And focus on something new. The querying is... Querying? I was saying that. That was lovely. <laughs> Should be sort of a secondary process. You know, if you work a job, you often have one focus on your job, and then you have these other things you do. The querying is that other so that you can focus and be excited about the next Right. Thing. The minute you send your first query, you're like splitting your brain into two mindsets. Yes. The creative mindset and the business mindset. Yes. And the business mindset is sending your queries and keeping that fresh and exciting yep. because it's long and drooling. Not drooling. Grueling. Grueling. <laughs> it's a, anyway, it's a long and grueling process. <laughs> Uh, but writing your new book is keeping you excited about other things, and it's keeping you looking three steps ahead and getting your creative juices flowing yeah. and keeping you excited about your own writing career, even if this one could 
even if the business side is a little bit daunting. Yeah, and I also think another thing you can do is research. So keep up on reading Publishers Marketplace. I find, for me personally, that's the best place to go. You can either pay for a subscription, which I believe is $20 a month. I still think they have the free newsletter that comes weekly that gives you the updates on deals. Reading those deals, knowing, starting to know agents' names, editors' names, what's being bought yeah. and sold, helps give you a fresh perspective um, on maybe a new agent you didn't know that you can check out and send a new query right. to. Comp it's, titles and all that fun stuff. Comp titles are great. Free options include PW's emails, which you can just go to their website and sign up for them all. Um, and Twitter. Twitter. Everything gets announced on Twitter. So well, MSWL into, is good, oh, yeah. too, I think, just to keep up on... What people are looking for. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it may not match your book, and that's fine, but I think keeping up on that research and learning the names and starting to recognize names helps give you control over your market knowledge. Agreed. Which is equally important in this entire process. And that's feeding your business mind. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So those are just a few things on what you can control. But, you know, so much about this business, this aspect of the business feels very uncontrollable and finding ways to make it fresh for you and something you can control, I think, helps go to a positive mindset. Which is what it's all about. Yes. And at the same time, you are growing your business mindset, which will further help you as your career goes on. Agreed. So while you're querying, think of us and think of us. good luck.